Hi everyone, this is the fourth Sheehan video in how to name and write ionic compounds. The objective of this video is to learn how to write and name ionic compounds using transition metals, tin, and lead. These particular cations are multivalent, which means they can have more than one charge. Writing the ionic compounds with transition metals, tin, and lead is not as much of a problem as naming them. So, writing them, we do exactly the same thing as you've been doing with all the other ionic compounds. We write the ions, then we balance the charges. For example, if I have Cu plus 1 and O minus 2, I write the ions, I crisscross the charges to get the subscripts. Oxygen's net charge is negative 2, and copper's net charge is positive 2. So the compound Cu2O has balanced charges. We run into problems when it comes to naming ionic compounds with multivalent elements. Because they can have more than one charge, we need to figure out what that charge is. So when we have two compounds, we need to distinguish between them when they're made up of the same two elements. So in order for us to do that, we use Roman numerals to indicate the charge on the metal cation. So let's refresh your memory about Roman numerals. Here's a list of them. Number one, we have the Roman numeral one, which is a capital I in parentheses. Number two, two I's in the parentheses, and so forth and so on. V is five. So 1V would be 4, and V with a 1 at the end is going to be 6. So make sure you write down these Roman numerals. You're going to be using them to name these ionic compounds that have transition metals and tin and lead that are multivalent. So the first thing we need to do is to determine the charge on the transition metal, tin or lead. But you've got to remember this one thing. The compound must be neutral, the same number of positive and negative charges. The metal cation is always going to be bonded to a nonmetal anion or a polyatomic anion that has a specific charge. We can use that to determine the charge on the cation. So here's an example. We know the metal cation is Fe, which is iron, and it is connected, bonded, to the anion oxygen. Oxygen has a specific charge. It's negative 2. But we don't know the charge on the iron. We do know, however, that 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and the compound is neutral, which means I need a net positive 6 charge to balance out the net negative 6 charge. So what number times 2 is positive 6? That's right, it's 3. So we name this iron 3 oxide. The Roman numeral 3 represents the charge on the iron. Now let's try another one. CuCl2. Well, we don't know the charge on Cu, which is copper, but we're going to use the charge on chlorine. We know chlorine has a negative 1 charge because the compound is neutral and there's two chlorines, copper must be positive 2. So we name this copper 2 chloride. Let's try another one. If we have CO2,3, the net charge on the oxygen is negative 6. Therefore, the net charge on the cobalt has got to be positive 6. So have you figured out the charge on the cobalt yet? We name this cobalt 3 oxide because the charge on the cobalt is 3. Think you got it? I hope so. Here's more practice. Write these down. This is your homework. I want you to do these video questions. 
name these compounds, and when you're done, you can bring them into class and we'll go over them. Don't forget, if you're having a problem, review all of the videos on how to write and name the various types of ionic compounds because after this video, after the review, we'll be having a quiz on naming and writing ionic compounds. Good luck. If you have any questions or problems, make sure that you email me. Come to class with questions. I'll be more than happy to help you. Thank you.